my god choices what's going on capricorn somebody is making decisions this week we do have the two of pentacles in reverse and the two of swords in reverse both energies of important decisions either about letting go either about um choosing something over something else so we will see what's going on two and two wow two of swords three of pentacles a decision to come out of a partnership of some sort three of pentacles is falling out um no longer being committed with somebody and deciding you know what i am going this no longer serves my purpose so i am cutting it off justice two of swords in reverse and justice a decision of justice might be a libra you are dealing with but this is, you know what, I'm going to ba balance the scales. I'm going to serve the other person, the papers. I'm going to sign the papers for some of you. Uh, but there was a lot of thinking. Should I divorce? Should I not? Is it going to end in a divorce or not? Right? There was a lot of contemplation. Is this what I want? Will this, will justice be served in your process? And we do have justice and your own energy. Knight of Pentacles, of course, can be another Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn you are dealing with. But absolutely, this is the energy of justice. Can be divorce, can be separation. It's a love reading, right? And the Three of Wands in reverse, unexpected. Maybe somebody served you the papers, Capricorn. Unexpected, out of the bloom you were not waiting for. It was like, no, these are not my ships, and yet justice is coming. It's also about karma and decisions. It doesn't have to be a divorce, right? So this is the energy around this um, third week of June. Three of Wands in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Unexpected for money. Justice for money for some of you, right? I know it's kind of difficult to shuffle this deck. It's glossy and it's um, slippery, but hey, we do our best. Oh, well, let's cut the cards. Let's see the bottom of the deck and then we're going to go with, uh, with the energy, see what's going on. I combined two. That is one slightly smaller than the other one. So we do have the Ten of Wands. We are burdened, we know. We are burdened by this situation. We do have Five of Swords. We had some fights over this and we are manifesting new beginnings and reconciliation. We want them back. Yeah, we might have had a fight, so what? Who doesn't, right? <clears throat> That's kind of the energy. We are a little bit burdened. It's like, why in the world have I said what I said, you know? Ten of Wands is really, really being burdened by the words that have been exchanged, the conflict, the energy around it, and we manifest reconciliation here. I hope they are coming back to me. If they do, I promise I will only have discussions and not fight or arguments, right? I'm just saying, manifesting happiness, manifesting new beginnings, but with the same person, that's the Three of Cups. This is the energy of, come on, baby, come home. Oh, stop being a child. I just said you're stupid. I didn't mean it, you know, <laughs> kind of energy. I just said you're, you're impulsive and reckless, and I didn't mean it. You're actually so sweet, and I so love you. Anyways, I might be channeling the energy of somebody who has fights here. So Capricorn past energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with, and neutral energies. Let's see current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let's see the possible outcome. On your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let's have the bottom of the deck. And we do have the Seven of Cups and the Six of Cups. Now we know. Now we know they are our soulmate, right? That's energy, clarity. We know they are our soulmate. We want them back. It was a stupid fight, it was a stupid argument, it was childish, and now we feel... Probably you feel responsible, Capricorn, I don't know if you lost it during this argument or exchange of um, ideas. You know, with the Five of Swords and uh, maybe somebody, and now we are actually in this energy of... Come on, I love you, you cannot make um, harsh decisions, you know, just because I said something. 
Um, so Capricorn, on your side in the past, we do have the Hermes in reverse, Virgo energy and the King of Pentacles. Of course, it can be another Earth sign you are dealing with. But it's, um, it's kind of you being upside down about something that maybe you didn't give your best. You know, the Hermit is the energy of a lot of wisdom, a lot of lessons, a lot of um, kind of a philosophical approach to life. It's also the soul journey, but it's in, in, in a beautiful um, expansion of the mind and soul kind of way, right? And um, this energy feels like, oh, I should have known better. I should have done better, right? It's the energy of, I kind of resisted. I didn't see the lesson in it. And maybe you um, you did something um, rushed in some way. Because if the Hermit Upright is all about taking the time, um, in reverse, it's a little bit of, um, you know, of a decision of some sort. Now, you might be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So this person shows up uh, for past energies with the energy of King of Cups and the Hierophant, <clears throat> which is Taurus energy, but a lot of faith and commitment, right? They've been committed to you. <clears throat> Sorry, this is the energy of really believing in the marriage. This is, sorry, I had to, I had to have some water. So this is the energy of, no, no, I, I was there. I was present, you know. I really believed and I did my best and I, I kept my faith through whatever challenges you guys went um, through. Um, mutual energies between you and this person, three of pentacles in reverse. So uh, falling out of a partnership and the queen of swords in reverse. It was unfair, probably. But it uh, looks like a separation, looks like somebody <clears throat> um, stopped kind of um, being committed to the other person. And with the Queen of Swords in reverse, again, can be a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, can be a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius who got in, in, in your way, in, in both your ways. Um, but it is an energy of poor communication, harsh energies with the Five of Swords, conflict, Three of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords in reverse speaks of conflict about money. Um, somebody taking advantage of the other person. Somebody feeling that uh, we are taking advantage of their uh, finances. Um, maybe one felt way too responsible financially and then we got burdened <clears throat> and a little bit impatient um, with this. And... Um, and then exchange, oh, you made the effort, let me tell you what I did. I was the one providing and I was the one. No, I felt responsible. I was sacrificing. This is how it feels, you know. Um, because there is a, a queen of swords in reverse. It's a deep energy of, um, of unfairness, right? It's like feeling frustrated because, um, you know, the other person, we feel the other person didn't uh, match up whatever you are bringing to the table. Now, if you ask them, I mean, they show up with a higher fence. It's like, oh, please, I've been so committed, you know. I was only paying attention to you and this family, kind of, you know. So, yeah, I go back to your energy. I don't know what was um, what decision was um, made in the past, but might have been a little bit uh, brushed. So, where are we right now? Um, Capricorn, we do have the Nine of Swords. Uh, it's in reverse, thank God. So keep doing whatever you're doing to release stress and, um, you know, um, go back in balance because we are concerned. We are very stressed. We are uh, running scenarios in our head. How is it going to end? And I do love the Emperor in reverse because I feel we are releasing control, but I'm kind of afraid of the energy of manipulation and abuse of power. Um, abuse of knowledge, uh, using leverage, um, that's the emperor in reverse, of course, can be an Aries you are dealing with. But I'm more sensing on your side that we are releasing control and sending the situation out into the universe, right? Saying, you know what, I need my peace of mind. And the awareness that actually we don't have much control, um, especially on uh, separations, divorces, and stuff like this. We have a certain amount. But actually, um, you know, uh, we don't always have the whole 
um, you know, the situation can uh, can go in two different ways. And it's good when we have an agreement and understanding and negotiations, but sometimes we don't. And then we do what we can and we send the universe, um, you know, the problem. And I'm sensing this is your approach now and it's beautiful, right? We, we want to, we need to sleep at night and it's like whatever I get out of it, well, it's going to be, um, you know. Now this person of yours, they show up with the nine of cups in reverse uh, and the five of wands. So they are not happy with what's going on. They are not satisfied. This is not what they wanted and this is not how they want it to be and they are struggling through it, right? Five of Wands, internal struggle, confusion, conflict, conflict with themselves, conflict probably with you or they feel that they are attacked and and, and actually they need to, um, you know, respond to it or um, be in control of some sort, you know, and, uh, and you know how it feels. It feels like they are fighting for wish fulfillment and happiness because nine of cups is wish fulfillment. So they, that is something that they want and they are fighting for this. They are not having it in their hands right now, but there is a sense of clarity that they need to fight for something. And on your side, you're like, no, I'm not going to fight for this, but they, they want to fight for this one. Mutual energies between you and this person, we do have the two of wands, so none of you turn their back on, on this situation. And with the Empress, there is a sen sense of responsibility, a sense of abundance and clarity, a sense of family, um, and a sense of giving to the situation, right? You want to give to make sure everything is all right, and they want to do the same because it's, um, again, looks like both of you, you are at crossroads. And uh, nobody gave up on the other person, or we are not just yet ready to um, take on a on, on a different path, right? I love the Empress uh, showing up right in the middle of the reading because it kind of tells me that emotions are involved, which is wonderful, right? Generosity, creativity. We are trying to find a way through struggles, right? We still we still come from a place of um, of kindness. Um, so that's good. That's beautiful to see. Now, Capricorn, um, energy is coming your way. Absolutely, that is victory in it. We do have the Six of Wands. We do have the Queen of Cups and you had the King of Cups in the past. Might be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Speaks of the energy of emotions between you and this person. Um, wanting to get back on your emotional feet. Um, well, you get my point, right? But this is about, you know a bond not being over this is about soulmate connection same level of vibration um and victory and absolutely victory with this person is coming your way this person of yours palace of cups and magician are you, are you kidding me this is a world of emotions for you and manifestation palace of cups is of again uh, getting back on their emotional feet and manifesting you. I love this. Manifesting new beginnings. Manifesting love. Um, cups, of course, we know. It's all about soulmate bond. But it's more than that. It's offering their world of emotions to you. And their world of manifestation. Mutual energies between you and this person, Capricorn. We do have the temperance. Um, Sagittarius energy. And we have yourself, Queen of Pentacles. Again, stability. Compromise a little bit slow, I would say. Uh, or, you know, energies of I'm going to meet you halfway. So we might be dealing with somebody who is quite um, kind of full of pride. And it's like, you know, it has to be my way. Uh, but definitely you have a stronger energy over this whole connection. Queen of Pentacles, right? You show up here strong, being yourself, being generous, being kind to this person. And you have victory through kindness. Um Capricorn, that's exactly the energy here. And um, and we have them in love with you, right? That's a palace of cups and that's a magician. We have them in love with you. Now, of course, end of June might be a little bit um, in overwhelming in, sense, in a sense of emotions. Queen of Cups is in reverse. So we are working towards slowly, towards an emotional uh, fulfillment and emotional balance, a compromise of some sort. 
but I would say the approach is beautiful. Just be yourself, right? And I go back to the overall energy that is clarity here, that that is a soulmate bond between you and this person. And that is also reconciliation. And both of you, you got the magician twice. We have, we used two decks and we got the magician in both of them with the reconciliation energy and the palace of cups. Beautiful emotions. Uh, you know, when we fight and we make up and the makeup is um, sweeter than before because, you know, it takes a fight and the energies and releasing the, the tension and then the love is sweeter. And this is how it feels like. It's a way where I come from, we say that. I, kind, I kindly disagree because I don't think we need to fight to have sweet love. But hey, who am I to say something? So Capricorn, let's ask for some guidance. This is such a beautiful reading. And yes, we have fight and yes, we have conflict, but we also have love coming. So Capricorn, simple act of kindness, baby. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. So we need to show kindness to this person. Simple act of kindness. Bottom of the deck, I love you. These are powerful words, Capricorn. Maybe you forgot to say I love you. Maybe they did. But simple acts of kindness like I love you. I love this. You do have another one. Love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. So absolutely that is love in this connection. And simple acts of kindness and resilience, right? Um, let's have guardian angels. Let's see what we need. Oh, and that is the sun is going to be difficult for you to see the cards. We do have the hierophant again, might be a marriage. Um, and it's um, like a bump in the road, right? But love conquers all. That's a little bit how it feels. A world of emotions and manifestation. Um, so Capricorn, embrace those around you. Maybe you need to give a hug to this person of yours you know and hold them tight um so hey this is a time of great spiritual growth for you making it even more important to surround yourself with those who love you and share your beliefs be willing to accept help from others you could find comfort in traditional solutions or your heart may long to try out new ideas so we do have the hierophant and we do have the tower so i don't know if you are in a marriage with this person uh, and yes, that is love. And yes, that it has to be kindness. But we, we do have the marriage card with the tower card. So out with the old, in with the new. Heaven is showing you a sign that it's time to move in a new direction. Often this is because you're not happy and feel a lack of purpose in your life. This is a wake-up call to make changes that match your heart's desires and spiritual truth. So it's kind of interesting, right? Because you get simple acts of kindness. I love you. you. You have to, right? To come from a place of love, a place of understanding and kindness. But the guidance is very simple. Out with the old, in with the new. We have to let go. We are guided to let go of this person. And move on. They might be not good for you. Energies we need to get back into the flow. You are never alone, right? We have loneliness. I know that I am never alone. So you, you, you need to feel confident. I don't know if you are afraid of being alone and letting go of somebody. Um, you know, it comes with a fear of what if I don't find somebody new? Um, and you are guided to let go of that. And we have humility. What's going on? You have developed the loving awareness that you and everyone else are the same but on different path. So we need to have humility in this situation. We do have the six of um, wands with um, the queen of cups in reverse can speak of pride and um, overwhelming emotions or frustration out of pride. But... Um, now I have humility and I'm I'm receiving this, but you have to tell me how you receive this. I'm receiving it as um, do not judge people, right? 
actually who are we to judge people so you have developed the loving awareness that you and everyone else are the same but on different path <coughs> sorry my voice that i'm losing here we do have surrender resentment holding on to resentment only poisons you try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward toward positive situations in your life. I believe we are guided to keep going here with integrity, humility and integrity. You demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action. Probably this is why we get the uh, simple acts of kindness and I love you. And it's interesting because, and it depends, right? Um, because divorces have so many and the tower and the hierophant that I'm picking up the energy of somebody divorcing somebody in a separation three of pentacles falling out of a partnership and with the queen of swords felt unfair right we gave everything and yet it feels unfair um, and it kind of um, feels to me like this energy where we are blocking the blessings coming our way and the blessings of new beginnings and simply getting into the flow because we might have resentment it's like yeah but i was honest right with integrity but i was only yours or you know and um, comes with frustration and we want to make this other person pay but honestly but again who am i to say something right um but when we do that we actually are blocking ourselves from a lot of things um and we are doing it to ourselves by the way so i don't know what do you think what do you say surrender to silence in quiet meditation or contemplation let go and enter the stillness within silence can heal and replenish you yeah i know baby i know and we love them right and that is six of cups energy and that is manifestation i tend to believe because we have both the magicians it's like you are manifesting something new they are manifesting something new um this person of yours with the palace of cups they might um you know um be focusing on themselves and their emotional life um and we might be resentful because of this but um the guidance is simple acts of kindness i love you and um you know love withstands every situation it can be unconditional love but again right we have to it's a philosophy of life unconditional love so um in the spiritual value but um capricorn this is all that i have for you guys you know i love you right i wish you nothing but the best i want you to stay strong and safe for me as always don't forget to like share and subscribe and come see me next time love you take care bye